so eager to be committed to outside entities? Is it because of the validation we seek? Is it because we need an authority figure? Is it because we need a boss? Is it because we need a babysitter? Someone to keep tabs on our body. We take it so personal when someone cheats. We call it cheating. When someone acts on their sexual desire. That's cheating. You're cheating. But let's call a spade a spade. What if they just lack sexual discipline? This don't got nothing about you. They lack sexual discipline because they're not committed to their own soul. So how can they ever, how can you ever require commitment to somebody when they haven't even committed to their selves? Everything is bias. Yeah, everything is opinionated. You have to do what works for you. But nobody ever tried being committed to themselves first. So no wonder why it's not working out, why people are having so much hardship with commitment issues, with cheating, with infidelity. No one can be honest with you. No one can be true with you if they're not true with themselves. If they're true with themselves, it's going to be honest with you. I think people seek commitment to others. It may just be a form of validation, an example of love that is right in front of you. But like we said before, Kay, this love word, I think we got to throw it away. I think we got to throw it away <laughs> because it's overrated. It's overrated. No one has a true meaning of it. People are just throwing around and saying it, but it's unconscious love. Everything is unconscious. It's codependency. It's neediness. We should want someone to commit their highest growth to themselves. But instead, we call these people selfish for choosing their mental health. We call these people selfish for putting themselves first. We call these people selfish. If they say no to us, if they do something that we don't like, but it's their life. How are we offended off of what people choose to do in their behavior? It's either we can deal with it or what? But what people do outside of you has nothing to do with you. But we take everything personal. We take it all personal. Peace, God. Is Thank you so much, babe. I appreciate you. Today, it was just on my heart because I was just sitting in a car like, this really gonna hurt. No one can truly commit to you if they have never committed to themselves. They don't even know what commitment is. Y'all just like made up some rules that sh is unspoken. No one spoke about these rules and regulations and what you shouldn't have rules. You should just have boundaries. So that's already messed up. So people have these unrealistic expectations or these unspoken rules that someone is supposed to follow. And if they don't follow it because they didn't read your mind or do something you didn't like, now it's cheating. It's infidelity. It's you betrayed me. It's, it's what someone does. It's what someone does. And we get offended by them just living out their journey on here. <laughs> They're living their journey. They have to learn lessons about themselves. You may be just standing in their way, <laughs> but you just won't let go. <laughs> and most people don't know how to let go. Most people don't know how to let go. People have expiration dates in our lives. People are here for a season. People are here for a reason. People are here to teach us a lesson or they may just be a blessing. You either rock with it or let it go. And the choice is yours. Like we have the free will. We have the choice. It's all in our hands. And once we realize like i think we just come back to come back to life 
that we have a choice here. Like you can cho choose to deal with this, like this person for where they're at and what level they're on because we're all on different levels here. We're all on different chapters. We're all learning. So if you you if you want to deal with that, you you can. But if you don't, that's okay too. That's okay if you want to set those boundaries and you want to pull back and hold your energy and keep it to yourself. You can do that. But I think we're requiring too much of people these days and it's very unconscious. It's not realistic. It's emotionally dumping. It's honestly being an emotional vampire to people requiring so much of them emotionally when people have their own traumas and we have our own bullshit that we dealing with and if we really truly want to love them we should support them by letting them know guiding them and supporting them to commit to themselves first like hold up you're not doing me no justice by not committing to yourself you're actually harming me you're actually lying to me. You're actually cheating on me. You're actually betraying me because you're not committed to yourself. So now you're getting hurt. You're breaking your own heart. You're breaking your own heart by making someone commit to you. For real. They have not even committed to themselves. You have so much hopes and dreams and idea of them. How they should act how they should be, what role they should play in their life. But what if they just want to be? What if they just want to be? They ask us in, in school, what do you want to be when you grow up? What if I just want to be me? <laughs> Why do I have to pick a, a job description? Why do I have to pick an occupation? Why do I have to pick something? And why do I have to identify as that? We're so caught up in labels. We're so caught up in titles and it's really limiting us. It's really holding us back and holding us down. Sometimes we just want to be free. Sometimes you just want to be you and you don't even have to explain that. You don't have to explain who you are to yourself every day when you know. But right when we walk out this door, somebody automatically asks you what you do for a living. Like, what, who, what, what you do? That, I'm like, this is, this is, this is ego. This is ego. <laughs> can, can you first just see me as a human? Like, we got to be real about this. Let me tell y'all something. Someone automatically always identify me like I'm in a relationship. I, I got to be in a relationship. If I'm not in a relationship, oh my God, something wrong with you. It's like, can you see me? Can you see me? Like, am, am I, can I just exist? Can I exist without any relationship? Can I exist without any title? Can I just exist? But no, you can't do that. <laughs> like, you can't. You can't just exist. You have to subscribe to something. You have to put yourself in a box so people can understand. But everybody is not going to understand you. Everybody is not going to relate to you. And that is okay. That is okay. Because we are all on different levels here. And what makes sense to you makes sense to you. And you got to like really know when you know yourself, you don't have to do everything that everybody is doing. You don't have to be like everybody. You can truly just step in your divinity. You can truly just step in your authentic self. People gonna hate. People can, gra can congratulate. Or what? But you bold enough to just be yourself. Without these labels. Without these titles. Without committing to anyone. Committing to yourself. Committing to the highest purpose of you. Committing to your highest self. When you commit to your highest self, now you can really give more and be more and do more. But if you're committing to your lower nature, of course, you're going to cheat on a motherfucker. Of course, you're going to feel betrayed by a motherfucker. 
Because they're operating from their lower self. <laughs> Gotta be. Y'all, I appreciate y'all so much. I just wanted to, like, come here to let you know a reminder. Commit to yourself today. You know, stop being so eager to committing to an outside entity because you may just create your own suffering that way. <laughs> you put in all your hopes and dreams into someone who may not have sexual discipline. And you mad. And you mad. And you mad at that because they out here trying to fight battles within themselves you standing in a lot of people's way when you just don't let them fuck up like let them fuck up on their own okay let them fuck up but you stand in they in their way blaming it all on you you saying why are you doing this to me they doing it to themselves if you ever feel hurt by a motherfucker it's like we gotta check that within ourselves you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. It's like, why? Why do I feel offended? <laughs> like, why do I feel baffled? Like, why do I feel hurt by when someone is doing something to me? You are too invested. You are too invested emotionally, spiritually, financially, mentally. You can't be that invested in something outside of you. And I know this is like very hard to hear because we're so used to putting our eggs in one basket, putting everything in everyone except for ourselves. We're so used to being last on the list. We don't know what it looked like to be first. We don't even know what it looks like to have our own freedom because we're choosing bondage with somebody else. As long as we're in the same jail cell, we don't give a fuck. We just got to be in the same jail cell because we don't want to be alone. We just don't want to be in our own thoughts. It's actually really hard being single. I see why people run away from it. I see why people run away from being in a relationship with themselves. Because it requires a lot of introspection. It requires a lot of time to think for yourself. It requires you to take accountability and responsibility and not blame other people. You actually become an asset for people when you emotionally calculate for yourself you're not emotionally dumping on people anymore the reason why our relationships are so unconscious right now is because people emotionally are not intact with themselves if you can't emotionally regulate your own feelings if you can't if you're constantly suppressing your emotions and not controlling it and not understanding it and not being able to explain for it you're going to be an emotional vampire to somebody you're going to emotionally dump on them but we think relationships should be about oh if my partner is sad i should be sad if you don't let them be sad over there and figure that out okay that don't got nothing to do with you but we make everything about us and we take everything personal so just remember today, it's okay to commit to yourself and people will get offended. People will call you selfish. People may call you whatever they want to call you, but you are not that and you don't have to identify as that. As long as you're being honest with them, they have no choice but to deal with it. You are no longer going to lie to anyone when you are honest with yourself, when you are connected with yourself, when you are committed to yourself. Y'all never going to, you're never going to hurt anybody's feelings. But understand the definition of commitment is being obligated to something. And that's already true extreme in itself. If you feel like you're obligated to do chores in a relationship or you feel like you're obligated to do something, you're already betraying your soul. That already sounds like it's it's hurting you. <laughs> that already sounds like it's exhausting. So no wonder why most people are so exhausted right now is because they're not committed to themselves. Commit to yourself and you will release so much pressure you release need some validation outside of you or acceptance outside of you step into your freedom 
you don't need to ask per, for permission to do anything in this life. If you want to act on your sexual desires, do that. If you want to react to an impulse that you have, do that. And you have to just learn that lesson. But nobody is here to teach you a lesson but you. Life is your teacher. Earth school is your teacher. Not nobody. This is school for you. So continue to be the student. Hey, sis. Y'all have a blessed one. Happy Saturday. I'm about to head out. <laughs> but y'all tap in on tap in tap in i appreciate y'all so much just taking the time out your energy this is spontaneous but this was literally on my heart to share with you today and i had to get it off my chest <laughs> it's just so much power that we all have within ourselves and it's just like we gotta recognize it i think the world will be in a much healing place when we really operate from love like conscious love not this superficial love we don't even know nothing about we don't even know nothing about that real love no more that loyalty like true loyalty true integrity within themselves but y'all tap in please subscribe to our youtube channel and i'm gonna see you later